Our sport is pizza football. To play this game, you must be in grade two or above. Equipment needed are a little Nerf ball that can be concealed very easily and a big enough shirt to put the ball underneath. The game of pizza football is a game played 10 versus 10. The preferred, the preferred place to play it in is a gym or it could also be played outside on a field. Basically, the objective of the game is that your team, the 10 members on your team, from one side of the gym or field with the ball to the other side and touch the wall or make it to the touchdown or end zone. If you do so, you get a point. Once one team scores, for example, if black team scored, the other team, red team, would get to start with the ball. Now, here's the tricky thing. In pizza football, when you start with the ball, you're allowed to have it under your shirt. What does that mean? It means that you can put it under any of your members' shirt. Basically, your team has 10 huddles up, like we show you in the diagram, and you put the ball under your shirt, and all of a sudden, randomly, you disperse when you're ready. Once everyone disperses, the other team is going to try to touch everybody. And if they touch the person with the ball, he must stop, freeze in place, and then pass the ball either forwards or backwards or anything you want to do. And you keep doing this until you score. So basically, you can consider it like nonstop football. But the thing is, it's like nonstop football. You can start and try to hide the ball as, as, when you, before you start. So this is how you play pizza football. It gets really competitive, and you can twist the game and add your own rules. Like you can do, like you can't pass backwards, or you can't pass like to two, like more than two players, and you can mix it up a little. And the game usually ends when the time expires, and then the po team with the most uh, points basically wins. If it's a tie, you play sudden death, which means that each team gets one chance to score until the other team outscores. So if one team scores, the other team will get a chance. If they score, the other team has a chance. And if they don't score and the other team scores, they would win, for example. That's how you play pizza football. Some notes to remember in pizza football. The game ends when the time limit expires and the winner is the one with the most points. Just like every other sport, like for example, football, like regular football. You have to score as many points as you can to beat the other team. The whole point is to trick the other team on who has the ball to get it into their end zone. If a player is touched by another player from the opposing team, he must reveal if he has the ball or not. If you do have the ball and you get touched, you get frozen in place and you are able to throw the ball to people on your team. And from that point, it is fair game. Thanks for watching.